Hey, welcome to my channel. I have this beautiful fall wreath. It is so gorgeous. You guys are going to absolutely love this. I had some material that I just cut and I am going to just basically cover the pumpkin. It's a wired pumpkin. I'm going to use some ribbon, some flowers, and it's going to be gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for you guys to do this. So I'm just going to go along the edges and I'm just going to tack it on with my glue gun. And it's got a little bit of a stretch to it, so I'm going to stretch it. And I'm going like in four corners first, so I'm just going to try to get it as tight as I can, which you'll see in a little bit. And I just, I love this. I'm probably going to end up making probably a Christmas one out of this same wired pumpkin, which I think it'll still be really cool. I have had this wired pumpkin for a while, but my problem was I didn't have a big enough piece of material to actually do this. I had bought those little pieces at Dollar Tree and they just didn't cover it. So I basically went back into my stash where I have material that I'm going to make a skirt out of and I cut a piece of this off of it because this is going to be a skirt too. But yeah, I'm excited. Excited for you to see this. It is so cool. And now I'm just cutting the edges off so it's not so bulky. Because it, I did probably, I could have maybe shortened the material, but I wanted to make sure I had enough because the last time I didn't have enough. So this time I'm just making sure I have enough. And there it is. You need to stretch it really, really well. Now I'm going to cut my ribbon. As you will see, I am going to cut it for the length of the pumpkin. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the second piece also because you're going to need two. You're actually going to need four pieces, but you're going to need two of the same. So I just measured the other one against that one and just cut another one. But if any of you guys make one of these, please, please, please send me a picture because I think this was such an easy one. And the way it turned out is just very stunning. It's just, it just looks so good on my wall. So now I'm just going to take the strips. I'm going to divide the pumpkin into quarters. And then I'm going to glue it to the back of it. So that nobody's going to see the back of it because it's going to be against the wall. So you can pick out any colors that you want. Um, you can pretty much make it however you want. Any colors, any ribbons. And just, because the most of the ribbons are going to cover the material. So I don't think the material is as important. So if you have some that maybe, you know, has a stain on it or something, you can use that because you're going to cover it with the ribbons. Now I'm just making a bow. Just a simple bow. I'm just going to twist it in the middle. And then I'm going to make another bow with the same colors. So I'm just using a piece of wire and I'm just, you know, squeezing it in the middle. It's going to be a little bit shorter than the first one. 
because you want to be able to see them and you want a long tail on them so I have a long tail on them probably maybe about eight inches yeah so make sure when you make these bows now I'm doing three different bows and each one gets a little bit smaller but I keep the length of the little tails So each bow, I think, maybe is just maybe a half an inch smaller than the next, than the first one. So you'll make three bows, and you'll, they'll get a little bit smaller when you get to the third one. And then I'm just going to wire all of them together. I'm just going to stack them on top of each other wire them together. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to use one of those, um, I forget what the, one of those plastic ties, that would be good too if you wanted to use one of those. I happen to have some floral wire that I was using. So there's the bow, look how pretty that bow is. It is so pretty. Okay, now I'm taking some Dollar Tree florals, and I'm going to make it like a swag. So I'm taking that one piece, I'm spreading them out, I'm dividing them in half, is that's what I'm doing, except for the pumpkin ones. I have two of those. So I'm going to make a swag, which I'm doing as you are watching this. And that particular one that you're looking at, I divided it. And I'm putting it in the middle of the two pumpkin ones. And then, of course, the mums. I divided those in half. And we're going to put them on top of the next bunch. And then my last one. I was trying to keep the colors sort of the same because it makes it look more brilliant. And you can bend these, you know, because they are wires. You can bend them. And I am going to use a plastic tie in the middle so that it gets really tight and it won't fall apart. So as you can see, I'm just going to take the plastic tie, make it really, really tight. And then you have a swag. Now you could also just use it by itself and put a bow in the middle if you wanted to. I'm going to put this on my pumpkin. Like I said, you could bend these anyway just to make them look fuller. Now I'm going to attach my bow to the swag. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? That is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm taking a piece of wire and tying them together. Because I also want to tie it to the pumpkin. So I did use a very long piece of wire. As you can see, I'm just going to put it through the little back of it and I'm just twisting it. Is that not gorgeous? That's gorgeous. It is. That's absolutely gorgeous. Wait till you see it on my wall. It is gorgeous. Now you can fluff the bows, move the flowers around, you know, my, all my ribbon that I use has wire in it, so you can gather up the wire a little bit if you don't want it so long. I ducktailed all the ends. And it is gorgeous. Every time I look at it, I'm like, wow, I bet these cost about $50 in the store. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button, notification bell. If you comment, show me some of the stuff that you've made. I would love to see that. And also, just have a great day. Make sure you take care of yourself and each other. Thank you. Bye.